The Caveco Sport is a very wildly popular pen, but if it's not quite sporty enough for you, I have something to show you. Here we have the Caveco AC Sport. As you can see, we have the aluminum body with some carbon fiber accents. Let's check this thing out. So this was sent to me by the good folks over there at Blesket. Check them out at blesket.com. They're a Canadian online retailer located out in Ontario. And if you swing by the site, use DoodleBud22, we'll save you 10%. The Caveco Sport comes in a huge array of colors and also a bunch of different materials as well. One of the offerings here is the AC Sport, but it just doesn't seem to be as popular as the other ones. So when I popped this out of the box, it caught my eye right away. I thought this is pretty sharp here, pretty slick looking pen. Right away, I thought this would be for someone who, uh, you know, if you order a new car, they have all the all sorts of options you can get. And if you had the option for carbon fiber trim, you would pick that. Well, this would probably be the pen for you. You know, any of that type of uh, car modification, aftermarket type accessories, this is really what it reminded me of. And so I went to the Caveco website and lo and behold, that's what they mentioned as well. It's sort of inspired by that. Now, of course, it functions very, very much just like your standard Caveco Sport. I'll do a size comparison in the moment here. I've been using it for about two weeks. Now, while the Caveco Sport, I have nothing against the pen other than its size. If you look here, like, you know, it's like the size of one finger. So it's just kind of small for me. It, I, I could see how this would fit so many people and it's a fun little enjoyable pen. But just the uh, overall dimensions are just, if it was a little bit thicker, I'd love to see that. A little bit longer would be nice, but a little bit thicker in the hand. I would love this pen even more. But it has been working flawlessly for me. We'll do a writing sample, all that stuff. Let's just do a few quick glam shots so you can see it. Comparison, and uh, we'll wrap this thing up because I think we all know what a Caveco Sport is all about. Check the weight. This is with the cartridge in there. Let's call that 21 grams. Regular sport with the clip, and this is the pumpy uh, converter deal, 14 grams. Since we have it out, let's do the size comparison. When they are capped, they are virtually identical. I would say the AC Sport has got maybe a millimeter or something on it, pretty darn close. Pop off the caps. That's one nice thing with the pen. It's like a three quarter turn to uncap it, let's line this up and you'll see, yeah, well, seven eighths of a turn anyways. The main pen bodies are very close to each other as well. Pretty much if I got them lined up, I think they are identical. Section length, all that good stuff. When you post the pens, this is where it's a little bit different. If I line them up, you'll see the standard sports a little bit longer than the AC Sport. When I did a quick measurement, it was four millimeters longer than the AC Sport. When it comes to pricing, this one, uh, especially the red, is currently listed for $129 on the Blesket site. I believe that's the same price as getting a brass one. The regular AL Sport, the aluminum one, is uh, like $98 or $99, somewhere around there. So $30 extra to have the carbon fiber inlays. Now they did a very good job of this here. We'll try to get some focus. There we go there. So that you can see they put a little cutout here and it's recessed in there. It's totally smooth, no sharp edges, no burrs whatsoever. It just gives a nice little sort of contrast accent piece. Does it make the pen faster? Does it change the writing experience? No, not really, other than maybe a little bit of a different tactile feel, but it's going to write exactly the same as a standard Caveco Sport. But I do find it, it looks, it does look more sporty. I will give it that much. Um, yeah, if you want something with a little more flair, it'd be no different than if they had a, a limited or special edition of the AL Sport. They might charge a little bit more for that. You can fit a clip on to it. I, I'm not going to do that just because if you take it off the regular Sport, oh, it's a tight fit. You can see it does gouge up the pen, right? Because it's a tight fit on here. So I'm pretty confident in this knock. I got the wrong color clip. I'd have to have a different color one. But I'm pretty confident if I slip this over top and got it down, it would scratch up the anodize. So eh, I, I'm not, I'm not going to do that to that pen. You can see we have a cap liner down there in the pen, which helps it for sealing. I haven't had this uh, pen hard start or dry up on me once. It's been absolutely flawless. Also helps it with uh, when it comes to posting a nice sort of tactile 
squishy feel. You can feel it just engage on there. So post nice and secure, seals up, you know, especially if you turn both of them, it's like so quick to uncap this pen. Let's go ahead and do a writing sample with the pen. Uh, it's been in my pocket for close to two weeks, somewhere around there anyways. I gotta say, it's held up great. Again, like I said, size-wise, it's not my favorite, but as far as writing, the nib is smooth, the wetness is on, it's fired up every single time, and it fits comfortably in my pocket, but let's, uh, let's give it a whirl. So if you're wondering how the pen has been working for me, it's been perfect. The second I popped it out of the box and inserted the supplied cartridge, waited a moment for the ink to get to the nib, then started writing spot on. Uh, not scratchy, feedback was great, everything's good, the wetness is where it should be, the tuning was all good, and yeah, I can't complain about this pen in any way, shape, or form. I have a couple other reviews coming up, so I figured I might as well chat with you while you watch me write with the pen. So I got the good blue pens with the flex nibs. Let me know if there's anything in particular you'd like me to do in those videos, whether it's some tips on how to flex write or compare it against a few other flex nibs. Maybe it has to be a separate video, but I'd love to hear from the viewers here what else you'd like to see me do with those pens. Also, I have that new laser engraver. I really, I really like it. I got lots of ideas. I'm going to be making my own custom fountain pen box with an insert, all that kind of cool stuff, and then shooting it with some pens. So uh, I have some titanium pens I'm going to anodize and shoot with the laser to put some cool patterns. And hopefully I'll be doing that on stainless steel as well. But let me know if there's some other things you'd like to see me try out with the laser, whether it's fountain pen related or, or a little bit different. I just love to hear from you down there in the comments. We'll wrap up the writing sample and we'll close out the video with some final thoughts. So what are the overall thoughts on this Caveco AC Sport? Really enjoy it. I, I, there's no problems with the pen whatsoever. The build quality, the machining, assembly of all these parts, the inlays, all that's good. No burrs, no nothing. Everything is great. Hasn't hard started. The uncapping is fantastic. Like, especially if you spin both, it's just, you know, how good is that? You just boom and away you go. You write your notes, pop it off, slip it back on. You can be a little harder with this pen, slam it around a bit. It's a pocket pen meant to be sort of done like that. And it just works great. I suffer from having larger hands for a pen of this size. That's more of a me problem. I just do wish they made it larger. I like the added weight of this version over just the classic sport. Dimensionally, they're the same, so they are still quite small, but the, you know, it's just that much more lighter on top of it being small. So I appreciate that in this. I'd probably like an all sport. I think even heavier for someone like myself would be better either in the brass or stainless. I'd probably enjoy it even more. But what I would enjoy even more is if they, they just grew the pen a little bit. Th here's an example. One of my favorite pocket pens, my Enso Pocket Puma, my Gravitas one that is the other one I have fairly frequently. It's in my bag right now. But you can see it's it's more compact, so whatever. I'm, I'm a big fan of this size. This is great. But if we pop the pen out here, we get a little bit more length, which is nice. It's probably, uh, well, how much longer is that? I'd say a centimeter, something like that. This is the big one, is just in the grip. We got a little bit more thickness there. Um, that is something I've said it before, I'll say it again. I really just wish Caveco, they seem to like to make small pens, which is totally fine. But for us bigger uh, pen lovers, a little bit of a bigger, thicker version. The styling is fantastic, it's spot on. I, I love everything about the styling and all that stuff. You can put clips on them, all the nib options. You know, it's a it's a real winner of a pen. I think it's a fantastic pen, but a little bit bigger would be better. Here's a quick sneak peek if you want to see size difference here. This is the brand new uh, Good Blue L130. A little sneak peek so you can see. And same thing, it's just got that extra little bit of thickness in, uh, in the grippy section here. And this has been a fun little pen, but we'll talk about that one in a review coming up. But there you have it. Nothing wrong with the pen. This thing has been flawless, has worked absolutely perfectly. I will probably use this one a lot more than this one. I could see myself carrying this around a little bit more. Just the, the weight is, is a little bit nicer, but I'm still waiting for a big boy version of the Caveco Sport. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you haven't. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Leave a comment. We'll catch you next time.